Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of HairTube. I'm so happy to be back and creating content for you guys. Please excuse my absence. Um, as you can see, we've now moved into the beautiful new AXA salon here in Canberra. It's taken up so much of my time, um, but I still have two really cool haircuts to share with you this year and maybe one more, so maybe three. Some exciting news I'd like to share with you is in 2024, are you ready? I'm actually gonna be filming my clients. How exciting is that? So I've been asking a lot of them if they would mind if I would film their hair while I did it. Um, and the overall majority said they're happy to. Um, there are a few caveats on it. The format will be slightly modified, but what it does mean is that I'll be able to bring you more regular content and a far diverse range of people and a far more diverse range of hair. That's really exciting. The next thing is um, the two uh, haircuts that I'm gonna share with you over the next month or so. Um, maybe sooner, just depends on how quick I can get to doing the edits of the two most requested haircuts I get asked for. One is the very uh, sexy, short, purple pixie cut. And the second one is the one that keeps blowing up, which is uh, my take on uh, House of Cards star Claire Underwood and how I would actually attempt a haircut. So I'm gonna do um, some color on my mannequin and then we're gonna bring it in and I'm gonna start doing my haircut. And I hope you guys enjoy the next couple of videos. As always, please, leave a um, message in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think of these videos. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you share this with someone else too. Um, and I'm gonna get started, so I hope you like this presentation, cheers. I'm starting my haircut, creating my primary design line. For me, the primary design line is really important because this is generally where the hair transitions in length. In this instance, it's going to be shorter underneath and longer on top. I'm over directing the hair slightly towards the front to maintain a beautiful curved line towards the back. Once I've cut my primary design line, it's now time to bring all the length underneath up to that primary design line. And then it's time to clipper the underneath off, creating a beautiful graduated shape using a clipper overcomb technique.
Now it's time to bring the length from the top and connect it to my primary design line. I'll continue to bring the hair from the right hand side to the left, cutting it on my primary design line using horizontal graduation until I've run out of length. Now that the short side is complete, I'm repeating the same step on the long side. However, I am stopping behind the ear and retaining the length at the front. The difference between the long side and the short side is that I'll be over directing the hair and not clipping this off. I just like to leave a little bit of softness on the face on the long side. So if my client decides to tuck it behind her ear, it's not shaved and raw on both sides. I just find that it gives a little bit of softness on the face. One of the things about horizontal graduation is it builds lots of weight. And I know a lot of hairdressers are scared of this. However, it's very, very easily adjusted with layering and of course texture. So here I'm performing increased layering just to soften the weight line on the side because I don't like solely relying on texture. Now using clip over comb, I'm balancing my short side and removing a little bit of weight. I also want to take the short side a little bit tighter. Although pixie cuts generally do have disconnections, I do want to connect the long side to the back so that we don't have a harsh transition. I'm going to be using a combination of vertical graduation and texture.
Now, as I did on the short side, I will be using increased layering to just also help with that transition from short in the back to longer in the front. However, this time I'll be using my crocodile shear. I like these because they don't leave harsh lines and they give great texture. I really love how this sits going short to long and the very geometric triangular transition from short in the back to longer in the front. Now I'm just going to be personalizing and detailing until I see and feel the texture that I want. Continuing on the short side using my crocodile scissor, I'm just gently removing weight until again I see the texture that I'm looking for. Some slicing through the front to create some separation. You can really see the importance of texture to create movement and separation, especially in these type of short haircuts. Well, I think it turned out pretty good. The color looks fab too. I hope you guys also liked it. If it's the first time you've seen one of my videos, please make sure you subscribe and don't forget to share with someone who you think may like this video. And until next time, take it easy. I hope you guys liked the new format. I'm sure I'll get better at it each time. Cheers. See you later.